Okay, today we are working on the Bobcat S250 and we are going to be replacing these actuators. The lower one and the upper one. I believe the lower one is for the bucket and the upper one is for the left arms. I believe that's how it's configured. So there's four bolts in there. I don't want to take all this stuff out because I feel like it would be a hassle. So I want to try to do this as cleanly as possible and as quickly as possible. So we're just going to get the four bolts out of there, slide them out, get the pin out, and replace them. A bolt right here. There we go. I can barely see the tip of the bolt. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to put it back in, but that's all right. There's a long one. Can I would hope the bolt doesn't fly off? Oh, good. It might have. Fuck. Hang on. Ooh, it's gonna suck. Oh, no, it didn't. It's still in there. We're good. See now they're loose. I can get the collar off right here. This thing's called the collar for the Bobcat, for the actuator. See it? Yeah. Because I can pull this back now. And then there should be a pin somewhere. All right, see this thing right here? I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a pin. Yeah. I gotta knock that out somehow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because the first two, these two are black and red, that's for the motor. The other ones are the sensors or whatever else. So if I take the pins out, I could use the battery to drive the motor in here just to move shit. I don't think that's the pin down there, but I'm not too sure. It's hard to tell. You have this access cover on the side, too. No. Nah. Maybe. Ooh, that could help, actually. Yeah, let's get that off. So, for the Bobcat, the lower one, I believe, is for the bucket, just to control the tilt, and the upper one is for the arms to lift it up or down. So one of these was bad because the actuator inside, or not the actuator, the lift tilt control light on the Bobcat kept turning off, and that made the hydraulics stop working. We believe these are broken, or they're busted, or something, they're old. Bobcat's like 2008 and something like that, so it's an old machine for sure. We're going to see what the new one, see if it works or not. Why did it wrap around like that? That's so weird. Oh, that looks way cleaner. Look at that. Oh, it is a Bobcat part. Cool, it's not just a cheapo fake imitation. They're a little different, but it should work. What do you think? Although the key on this one's down, so maybe. You know, the key on it's backwards. That move. Well, hopefully that little key spot there is not going to be an issue. I don't know. But that's the part that we got to replace and whatnot. The only thing that I am curious about right now is this little bit right there backwards from this one. I hope that's not an issue. All right, well, I'm going to see if this one will fit in or not. Well, I find that... If there's a seal on them, you want to tighten them equally and not have one super tight and the other one loose and then tightening it because you can mess with the seal that way. One this way. Oh, that's going to be slightly annoying. It's 
not interfering with anything, right? If you look in there. Uh, no, it doesn't look like that. No, okay. Just want to make sure before I do it, you see that pin? Now this one's way easier. It's not as awkward. Although I need the screwdriver thing. Push the pin back in. There we go. Hang on. Let's see. In hit the next bolt in here. There we go. Yep, long ones are for the bottom actuator. Not the top. It's perfect. I don't remember where you guys went. Oh well. I gotta unplug them, I gotta unplug them, I guess. Okay. There's crud all over it, it's nasty. Okay. We can put it back down and test it out. So either the Bobcat's gonna run or it's not gonna work. A oh, fucking fly in here. Over. Yeah, other than the fucking fly in this cab, uh, we're good. We can button everything up.
So there's the Bobcat S250, replacing the two actuators. Pretty easy once we got that access panel open and having the cab itself open. But it was literally only four bolts and then two pins and then two connectors. So pretty easy. I thought I would take out all the hydraulic stuff, just access it, but I did not. So that's pretty good. But yeah, there's the video. If you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe, comment. See you.